So today we're on the uh, Welsh Dee, just below uh, Clangothlan. This is the uh, Clangothlan Milo Anglers uh, Delisa Beat, and I'm just walked down river to fish the last pool, which is basically called Mill Run. So it basically starts in that fast water there. It's not very deep there. You can fish all the way down there. There's two methods. You can you can fish down river with a team of spiders that works quite well particularly over there in the where it gets a little bit deeper but you also pick fish up here and also pick fish up close to the far bank there's a few big stones you might be able to see one there the back eddy from one so there's trout line in those lies uh, traditional spiders march brown spider black hopper pearly butt blower we'll all fish well here uh, at most times of the year but today I'm going to take a different approach and I'm actually going to start at the tail of the pool and fish up with a team of uh, nymphs. Uh, so this is the, the tail. I'm going to try and get him further down there with the nymphs uh, and then start working my way up river. I'm expecting to catch fish anywhere from anywhere between midstream and, and the far bank. I'm just going to zig my, zag my way up river, searching the bottom and see how I get on. I've got a 11 foot, 3 weight Vision Nymphomanic and uh, that's loaded with uh, an airflow nymph in line. I've got a sighter at the top, uh, about 2 or 3 foot and then I've got 6 foot of uh, 4 pound fluorocarbon and then I've gone for a two nymph setup. I might change that in a little while but on the point I've gone for a black pheasant tail nymph with a silver tungsten bead and a, and a purple collar that usually does well especially for grailing and then on the top dropper I've got one of my standard quill nymphs size uh, size 14 with a new two millimeter neutral tungsten bead so just seen a little fish come up then anyway I'm gonna walk down here and try and get in in towards the tail So yesterday it was uh, it was the last of the hot weather. It was up to 30, 32 here yesterday. Uh, it's clouded up today. Temperature dropped to about 20, uh, and we've got overclassed skies. The water's actually still quite warm. Been thundering this morning and heavy showers, but it's not really affected the river. Still running crystal clear so hopefully we should be able to catch a few fish yep oh and we're into a brownie oh lively one at that we didn't waste any time Yeah, nice little brownie, wild D, Welsh D brownie. And what's he taken? As you can see, the, they don't muck around, and it's taken. Yeah, it's taken the point fly. Look at that beautiful, beautiful little fish. Completely wild. Let's get him back in. There you go. And away. So that's a good start. See whether we can find some bigger ones. Okay. After that initial great start, it's been 
very slow, not really had a proper bite. I'm just hoping that the fish have moved up into that fast water. Either that or I need to change my nymphs, which is also a possibility. Oh, we're in. And what we've got, we've got something nice. Grayling, I think. Just as we're getting into that faster water. Hopefully that's where they are. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's a brownie. Could have swore that was a grayling. It's a, ni a nice one as well. Oh, I still want to lose this. Getting tangled up. Get his head up. Oh yes, look at that. Now that is a beauty. Look at this fish. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Welsh deep brown trout. There we go, and away.